All right, so guys, I'm going to do this recap uh, before shutting off. I had a really, really good day, amazing trade right at the open on, uh, sorry about this, on VXRT, a really amazing one minute opening range break up. So let me show you the, my first trade, and that's my whole first trade. And then later I messed up, and I'm going to talk about that as well. So VXRT on a daily chart um, popped up. So, you know, it was it was in play the last couple of days. I mean, uh, two days ago, I had a really nice run. Yesterday, it didn't much, and I didn't trade anyways. Then today, gapped up really nice with heavy volume. So in the pre-market, you're really holding a really nice level around 990, around 10. And I was hoping to get the breakout toward 10. So the volume was amazing on it in the first minute. I get long at 978, 980. I got jumped in too early, just I got the FOMO, but that was a small share size. Then the one minute open range breakout happened. I added more on the pullback, 982, 990, and then boom, the breakout happened, and I had a lot of shares all the way up to 1086. So went up, sold, sold, um, and then on the pullback, I added more, popped up, sold a little more, and then dropped, I added more heavily, popped toward the high of the day, sold, sold, and then I added again, and it came down to my break even point, and I got to stop that. And that was the best trade that I did. I had such an amazing trade, a really nice profit. Even, even these ads, I made money, even these next pops. And I think it was up to something about $46,000 or something like that on that. Um, so that was, a, that was a really nice pop that we had. Uh, and then I started messing around with it for the next breakout. So, you know, you know it went to both the VWAP, I went long, sold some, then long, sold, and then stopped out. And again, just tried to catch this breakout a couple of times on it. Um, and this was the area that I really shouldn't have traded, you know. And eventually what happened was uh, I got a really nice move from 10.50 all the way up to 11, sold some at 11, and then this suddenly huge dump on it that I lost, you know, like 50, 60 cents on it. So that was that was just brutal. Eventually I closed my day profit profitable on it, um, but, uh, but, you know, I gave a lot of those profit back. And then I tried, I was really emotional on it. I tried to... Um, Take it short. I took a short on it, but I was just so emotional that I covered my short really fast on it. Brian took a short on it, and uh, right now I think Brian is even short right now. He tried to take a short around 960 drop, but again, it's just there's so much technical damage on it that uh, it's just hard to trade that. Um, <clears throat> so that's uh, that's it. And then I tried to catch an uh, Apple reversal. You know, Apple was selling off during the day. I tried to catch a reversal on it at 134 and sold off and I got to stop out. And it seems that Apple really doesn't have any momentum or anything in there. Um, so Apple had the earning. They sold off at the earning and then I tried to catch this reversal back to VWAP. It's just, it seems that it doesn't have an, you know, now it's going up because we're claiming all the moving averages, but again, it doesn't have enough momentum for me to trade it. I had some TNA overnight uh, that I sold. Uh, I have 3,000 shares of TNA sold overnight as a swing because IWM even popped up. And then I have some TQQ holding. Uh, I might later add into that. This, you know, the technology sector is still strong. Um, so IWM, yes, it's really sold off. And it was really extended on a, a daily chart as well. So as you see, we might test these moving averages. So. Generally, overall, it was a good day. Again, it's just this overtrading that I did really, really messed my day on the, on VXRT, and it really, yeah, really, really disappointing the way that uh, I traded at the open. It's just so much just mess. So that's it, guys, for me. Brian, uh, I know you traded eBay at the <coughs> open. Really nice uh, short eBay. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah, shorted, shorted it twice. twice. Yeah, uh, really nice, nice move on it. <coughs> so... so. Yeah, eBay. That was, that was uh, uh, one, one trade. trade. Yeah. yeah, one yeah, trade that I did that, that you didn't, didn't do. do. And then you again traded it uh, for the break of low of the day. I think if I, I want to just. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, it dropped, dropped and then it popped, popped back, back up to the view app. I really should have reshorted it there, but I just uh, uh, caught a late, late short on the second flush down. Yeah, so eBay is really weak on a daily chart, and you know, gap down 11 percent for a reason. So it's really hard just catching these reversals on it. So um, Brian traded, you know, shorted one here and then an, another here at around 56.24. I was just busy trading, over trading VXRT at this time of the day. I didn't touch anything else, unfortunately. But uh, that would have been a really nice, uh, really nice opening range breakdown too as well. Stock was big. So um, yeah, that was it. So guys, if you like this uh, recap, uh, we appreciate a like, subscribe, or a comment. If you have any question, comment on it. Um, if you have any uh, anything, uh, definitely uh, I, tomorrow I won't be able to trade, 
and I'll see you next week. Tomorrow, uh, Thor is going to trade with uh, Brian at the Open. He's an amazing trader, and both of them, I think, are going to be a really good time. And yeah, so it seems that the market has the weakness. Either we do is going red. It was up in the pre-market. That's why I, that's why when, when I sold my TNA position, uh, so I was up, uh, you know, in the pre-market. I kind of knew that uh, the TNA is done. So mm -hmm. that's why I sold my position here, as you see, uh, in the pre-market. Anything else? Any question? The the peak capital guys, the bootcamp that we have, is more focused for uh, mentorship. You know, you have private sessions with your team captain, and then we have a group mentorship session. We don't want a lot of people in there. I think we are right now about uh, 25 to 30 people, and we don't want a lot of people in there because the, the smaller the group is, the more attention that you're receiving from the team captains. Uh, you know, I definitely we don't want to have 100 people in there. So there are limited space available if you want to sign up. We want to have this every quarter, hopefully. If you don't attend this one, you can attend the second one, the next one. Is this one starts in May? There is three months of simulator included, it's different from the simulation that you have, and then you have the access to the trader view to analyze your stat, weekly group sessions, the webinars that designs are specifically for you building your winning strategy and winning trade book. Who is it good for? I think if you're just starting and you're trying to figure out the hotkey and stuff, maybe it's too early for you, don't sign up, maybe wait for the next one. But if you are already knowing your strategy, you're trying to master your strategy. I think that's the moment that uh, might be good for you. So, <clears throat> uh, you know, if you're just starting, if you're in the, you know, three to six months in trading and trying to, you know, master your strategy, either opening range breakout or whatever strategy that you're building, that's a really good time uh, to join. But if you come and you want to figure out what is the hotkey, then you're wasting, you maybe you're wasting your uh, money. You know, you gotta, you gotta know at least the platform to a good extent, and you know, you have a good idea of uh, uh, how day trading mm -hmm. works. Um, perfect. So thank you so much, guys, and uh, looking forward to see you no. all. So tonight is the Tor mentorship webinar. He's not going to be able to make it to the uh, chat at 1 p.m. because he has family in visiting town, but he's going to do his mentorship sessions, which is amazing. Um, what else, Brian? Anything from you? Uh, that's, uh, that's it. it. I, think I think that's, that's good. good. Yeah. yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow morning in the chat. Ah, you won't see me, but hopefully, I will. Uh, you, everyone will be. <laughs> Bye. I'll be, we'll be we'll here. Be here. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>